Hi, yeah, welcome back. <laughs> I think I ate something that is so sweet. Like, what they call that thing again? No, Lasa lasagna or something like that. It's, it's making my head sweet, like my brain sweet. And it's making me all, all yummy, like feeling yummy. <laughs> okay, back to the business of the day. Um, IELTS, which is um International English Language um, Testing System, if I'm correct, is... um. Like is a is a requirement for everybody. Like that is required from everybody that is um you know, it's something that is required from everybody that wants to travel to another country, like English speaking country, like the U.S., U.K., Canada, yeah, and yeah, Ireland and stuff like that, places like that, you know, and um why I was before I prepare I sat for this exam like why preparing I. I almost didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have more information, like much information about the exam like I do today. You know, I just I just prepared for it, you know, blindly. Like I wanted to I wanted to travel and they said this is an exam I must sit for. So I sat for it, I prepared for it, I sat for it, I passed it then. That was when I started knowing more about it. I started hearing stories of um, people failing it and you know stuff like that i i probably if i had known that people used to fail it that easily i don't know i would have been more scared because but i wasn't really scared of it i i, I wrote it and i passed it in the first attempt and i wasn't scared why i was preparing for it because i didn't i didn't know much about it then you know so um back to the way i prepared for it anyway so i used two weeks to you know prepare for the exam at, at that time i was having um something else to sit for like i was having another exam to sit for two other exams so i needed to be done with it and then face the other ones <laughs> if you see the way i treated this exam then eh? i needed to be done and face the other exam so I dedicated two weeks of my time for it and told myself that I was going to prepare for it in these two weeks, write it on this particular day, then continue studying for the other exams. So the first thing I did was um I printed out Cambridge Cambridge materials. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it right. Cambridge, 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 C A M B R I D G E. So I printed the materials out. I think I printed out six six modules or so like six different ones and um i don't i don't know how to use soft copies to read or do something i don't know how to so i just needed to print it out printed those ones out and then um i i went to youtube i i heard about e2 language from someone so i went to youtube downloaded all the e2 language videos onto my phone because that uh, then was very very hard to you know get so i just bought um bought a particular two three months subscription used it that very day to download everything on my phone so that even when i don't have internet i'll be able to you know assess the videos so i downloaded them everything both the ones that they were doing interview the speaking reading like writing listening and all of that i downloaded them onto my phone and then i also joined this group though but it was too it was too late like i joined them when they were two weeks gone i joined the search point um, group for ielts on whatsapp well i joined them late so i i really didn't benefit anything much from them i didn't i didn't study with them like that i like i said i used two weeks so i was just or mostly on my own i didn't i didn't use their materials much and stuff then something else i used as well was um i use this ielts with liz on google i think if you if you google ielts with liz l-i-z you will find her she's also very good and she was she taught really well and i understood some of the things i was able to understand some tips from what she taught online if you if you check out her videos check out her teachings and all of that you get what i'm saying and then there was something i bought a video is this something like a video online i was always online then so i bought this um package online that is talking about tips and the thing that the thing was the video taught me is even to go to e2 language and download their videos and that was what i did so I bought this package, this program online on Facebook. I saw it on Experian. 
and when i bought it i watched the video the vid i bought it for twelve thousand naira, and it was just a video one video and the video was talking about how the tips to pass which is going to youtube to download the videos and watch that was the tips and that was what i bought for twelve thousand naira. <laughs> you understand so there is nothing there that you're missing just go to youtube download videos watch them over and over again i really didn't watch over and over again though but i made sure i watched everything that i downloaded like i downloaded everything and i watched everything so download the video watch it you're good to go actually with prayers with studies and all of that you're good to go so those are the materials i use cambridge i used them um, um, six um about six or so of Cambridge. I used um Itu language on YouTube. I used IELTS with Liz. Yeah, I didn't use the class. I, I I paid for a class, but I didn't really attend that much. I they helped me with speaking somehow because they were teaching speaking and all that. But aside that, I really didn't participate that much. And um, so back to my schedule now. To my schedule of reading like i was you know able to schedule my reading i was um doing like two readings a day um two listenings um <laughs> it's more i know <laughs> i was doing two readings two listenings one speaking one writing yeah i was making sure i do that every day that that was like the list of the things i do so even if if i have enough time like i have enough time i can do more than that but I made sure that for that two weeks, I was always doing that every day consistently, like being consistent with it. I was not missing it. Always doing that every day, even if it's night, day. I really didn't have a particular, although yes, I do. Like after closing from class, I go and study. Like I go back to the hostel, take my bath, have my lunch, and then go back to the class. So I think it was around afternoon time or so that I was studying for it's even if i'm not going to class that particular day i can go in the morning or if i have somewhere going that afternoon i can go in the evening so i wasn't really having a particular time for studying but i was making sure that i studied every day nothing should you know come in between me and my study for that particular day nothing i made sure i studied every day so that's like a tip i think you should you know employ that even if you're busy with other things try to Try to be consistent with your studies. Make sure you study every day. And I was doing two readings, two listening, one writing, one speaking. And, um, you know, using my Cambridge materials, going on um, IELTS with Liz and website, her website, and listening to her teachings as well. And then I was also watching them um, into language um, videos on YouTube, the ones that I downloaded. And also anywhere I'm going to, I make sure that I, I, if I'm in the market, for instance, and I'm not being attended to on time, I put my um, earpiece on my ears and I start watching the videos. You know, I don't, I didn't like, I don't like wasting time as a person, like generally as a person, I don't like wasting time. So I like utilizing every moment of my time. So anytime I'm 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 somewhere and I'm not you know making use of that time, I start studying, I start watching the videos, and the videos were really 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 helpful, you know they were so helpful to me. They really helped me a lot. Like it was so helpful. It made me to understand the basic things, and then also something else was that um I used um uh, I downloaded a lot of vocabularies. I saw them online. Some of them were shared on WhatsApp groups and. I not even IELTS WhatsApp group like general groups and I downloaded them I I started reading them you know registers get yourself familiarized with registers like um oh what's it called now you know all those terms for instance in travel you know those terms that are peculiar to travel you know aeroplane is flight is this is like get yourself familiarized with registers words and vocabularies so that you know where and where to use them and when and when they are used you know so i i i, I use that as well and that was like it that, that was it and then i went to see for my exams in two weeks time and then i got it i I passed it and I was really happy. I was happy. I was so happy. You know, the, the, it, this feeling that comes with, oh, you're done with this step. It's time to move on to the next stage. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that was basically it, you know. 
Cambridge materials, E2 language, um, E2 language on YouTube, IELTS with Liz, getting yourself familiarized with vocabularies and prayers as well, praying and committing everything into the hands of the God you serve, even if it's God, whatever God, whatever being you believe in, you know, praying about it and consistency being consistent with it being consistent with your studies don't feel like every day whatever you're doing don't feel make sure that you study that particular day if you want to give yourself three months to do it fine if you want to give yourself six months depends on your schedule you know what you do every day you know your schedule you know your work so you know how many um you know months you know it's going to take you to be able to grab this thing give yourself that particular time and make sure that you study and go along with it be consistent with it don't don't fail don't tell yourself oh i wasn't able to do it today let me just rest tomorrow i continue after i still have time no try to make sure even if you're sleepy you feel sleepy you feel tired still study it's going to enter your head trust me it's going to enter that head. You will remember one day that, oh, it was this thing that I studied when I was feeling sleepy that I was able to remember. And that is what helps me. You know, even if you're tired and sleepy, try to study as well. And um, I hope you crack this exam. Okay. See you next time. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.